Every shark is a huge movement forward. It's giant leaps. If she doesn't ping for weeks or months, we're still going to learn so much from this shark yeah. with what we've got in that lab right. and what's coming home with me today. Just to make things a little more difficult today, we're trying to recover this tag and then also we're, we're losing some key personnel today. Both Greg and Bob are leaving the boat, so we, we do need to spend some time with the scientists that are left to develop a new game plan for who's going to do what when we get another shark on the lift. Thank you. We got it. I'll make you proud. <laughs> We'll be standing by on A2. We're just doing drifts out here to the south of the O-Search, and um, we look forward to seeing you back up in the air. Thanks for your help. We had another white shark spotted here right off the St. John's River by our plane. The marine mammal people, the right whale people are helping us. And we did present a bait to the shark, and it turned on it. It got a little bit jacked up, but then it bugged out. Another big one. Sharks have been here, and surfers have been here in big swells for a long, long time. But I guess now that we know, we gotta let people know. Hi, yes sir, my name is Chris Fisher. I was wondering if I could talk to the watch commander. We released a, a large 2,000 pound great white shark here two days ago. And we just had another 15 foot mature white shark sighting here, right here at our boat. The reason I'm calling you is just to let you know there's a couple of big white sharks right here in this corner, just south of the St. John's River jetty. From what I'm hearing, you're going to have hundreds of surfers up here in this corner in the next couple of days, and so I just want to let you know these white sharks are here. Okay, thank you very much, sir. The weather's turned bad on us again with a front coming, so we're just having to pull back in here and ride out the storm on the inside, and there's no, there's no way we can work out there, so there's no reason for us to to be out there getting beat up and beating up our equipment. I'm at a loss for days. We're on Tuesday. We're going to lose Wednesday, Thursday, and probably Friday. The good thing is we have a ping on the accelerometer right now, 35 miles offshore. The bad thing is it's starting to already blow 20, and it's going to be 30 gusts to 40. Hopefully they're going to be able to locate that accelerometer and get it back before it gets too, too bad tonight. We're close. We can hear the tag. We've gone to the mark that we got from the satellite tag. Now we can hear the radio tag, so now we're just zeroing in on it. About three miles that way. And uh, they'll be so far offshore, I won't have communication with them, so we'll just hear from them when they get back. There it is, right here, right here. Yeah! They always come home eventually. Hey, good work. <laughs> 